this is another 20 to 23 number challenge. Here we look at this big number, 20 to 23 raised to 20 to 23rd power. And that x is the digit sum of this big number, y is the digit sum of x, and z is the digit sum of y. We try to find the value of z. Okay? So we look at a few things first. For digit sum of big number, now usually it's much smaller than the number itself. For example, if I calculate 20 to 23 raised to 10th power, it's going to be this huge number here. And when we calculate digit sum, is only 142, much smaller. Okay? So how are the two related? Now, imagine if you have case digit, yeah? And since each digit is at most 9, right? From 0 to 9. So digit sum is at most 9 times k. Now in this case, n 2023 raised to 10th power. So it has 34 digits. So the digit sum x must be bounded above by 9 times 34. That is, it cannot be more than 306. Indeed, we have 142 is smaller than 306. So this is some basic fact about the digit sum of a big number. Another important fact about digit sum versus the number itself is that when you look at the value mod 9, they are congruent. Okay. So in mathematical equation, that is, n is congruent with x mod 9. So for example, I have a number here. From mod 9, is, remainder is 3. This is 3,576, right? And digit sum here is going to be 21. And 21 is also congruent to 3 mod 9. Okay? So the two are congruent. Now why? That is the case. Okay? This has to do with the fact that 10, because we're dealing with base 10 numbers, 10 itself is congruent to 1, mod 9, right? And raised to any power, like 10th square, 10 to 3rd, so on and so forth, is going to be congruent to 1 also. And since we're dealing with digital numbers, decimal numbers, right? And we have this equation here, let's say digit, d1, d2, dk, k digits, and expressed in terms of 10th power is going to be summation of these. And each, each tenth power is congruent to 1 mod 9, right? So when we consider n mod 9, we can just replace every tenth power with 1, right? In other words, that's a digit sum. So that's proof the fact that n and x are congruent mod 9. Okay, that's a second fact we have to rely on. Now let's go back to the original question. We try to find z. So we need to look at this big number here. So we need to figure out what is congruent to 9 of this, right? The first thing we want to look at. All right, 2023 itself is actually, now from earlier we know that all the digits sum is going to congruent mod 9, right? So n, x, y, z, three different numbers, four different numbers are all congruent. Now for 2023 itself is actually congruent to 7 mod 9, right? So we raise that to 2023rd power, so let's do that. Then we need to consider what is the value of mod 9, right? So here, when we need to look at this. Raised to integer power, mod 9 is going to be in a cycle. Okay, for example, 7 square congruent to 4, but 7 to 3rd power is congruent to 1. So anything above that is going to be repeat in this you know, cycle of 3, right? So 2023 is 3 times something plus 1. So 7 raised to 20 to the 3rd power is going to be congruent to 7 raised to 1's power, right? And that's 7. So, so the whole thing is actually congruent to 7, what 9. Okay, so that's the first fact we established. Okay? Alright, so now how do we nail down you know, the for example, value for x. Okay, so we know that x, y, z, yeah, all congruent to 7. Now, the range of x has to do with number of digits in n. So, as a next step, we need to figure out how many digits does n have, right? So, we need to figure this out in order to figure out the range of x. Alright, let's, let's do that. 
So in, in terms of the uh, k digits, the value versus k digits is related to this relation here, right? So n is in between these two numbers, and you take logarithm base 10. What you get is that the uh, number of digits is about the integer part of log base 10 of n plus 1, right? So, for example, in our case, we try to evaluate what is the log base 10, of course, of this number. But the property of the logarithm, that's like about 20, 23 times log of 2023. 20, How to estimate the range of 2023? 20, now here, of course, is bounded by 2000 versus 2048. And the first one is like 2 times 1000. The second one is like 2 raised to 11th power. By the property of logarithm, you can rewrite this inequality as log 2 plus log 1000, which is 3. Yeah, this is 11 log 2. Okay, so that's kind of the um, value range for log 2023, 20, right? So we know that log base 10 is about 0, 03010, right? So that's a common knowledge here. When you plug into that inequality, what you get is that uh, here log 2023 20, is about 3 point something, right? 3.3 3 something. And the whole thing times 2023, 20, you know, the range is about that. So this tells us the number rigid k here for this big number 2023 20, raised to 2023 20, power is about bounded by 6699. Yeah. So k is is, is bounded by this, right? 6699. So for that many digits, the digit sum is bounded by nine times this, right? So this x value is gonna be bounded by 6699 times 9 is about five digit number. Okay, so x is a five-digit number, yeah, smaller than six zero two nine nine, and y is a digit sum for five-digit number under six out six six zero two nine one. I think the max of that is five plus four nines, right? That's about forty one. So that, in other words, y is bounded by forty one two-digit number. Okay, and we know that x y z has to be congruent to seven. And y is bounded by 41. So how many possible values y can take? You can only take 7, 16, 25, 34. In each of these cases, the sum of digits of y would be 7. That is, z, I really don't care the exact value of y, I know that z is, is 7. Okay, that's the answer. Alright? So, again, here, we rely on the fact that uh, you know the number of digits is congruent to uh, the number itself and when we look at the mod 9 value okay and another thing is about you know how to have a rough estimate of the digit sum okay so i hope you like the video please check out other programming in the uh, this uh, sequence of uh, 2023 number challenges and more importantly please share the information with your friend and please like share and subscribe to the channel